Hello, and welcome back to Solasta. We are just kind of uh, getting started. We're not really, we haven't even really gotten our first quest even. Um, we do have to go talk to any, interact with this character. Okay, we will, we will, we will. Oh, okay, we won't, we won't. We won't talk to you actually. Um, this is the tavern. I don't know if I'm supposed to go back in here. Uh, what is this blip on the map? Let's have a look at our journal. Meet Karen Chiron at the Legacy Council. It is located near the palace and embassies. embassies. Uh, head north, take the stairs to Sunblaze Court, then take the stairs west to the embassies. Go straight to reach the council. Head north. Well, I can do that. I can head north. I shall head north. Love the environmental design in this game, even for stuff like towns and stuff. Stuff and stuff, you know. Uh, open the map. Uh, do that. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I forgot this ha This game has a really nice map as well. Look at that. That's such a pretty map. Love that. Move the party towards this waypoint. Sure, do that. We'll, we will fast travel there. We'll have to talk to these guards, uh, perhaps. Stay in the light. <laughs> That's kind of an odd. Okay, so we're not doing that. I guess we are moving up the staircase. This is, seems a bit more like uh, what we would have to do. We are moving west, after all. I do remember, um, not struggling, but like it's a little bit of a... You got to kind of figure things out when you're just getting started and we'll get to know this place i'm sure a bit more later hello i represent the church of Anon, the god of valor and fidelity we provide various services Wow. Um, do we need your service? So our lad here, Bronlar, has a smith toolkit, which I didn't expect them to have that. Some projectile parts. I'm assuming we can use this to repair our gear. They also have those thieves t tools. Um, we can buy a healing remedy. We can buy a holy symbol belt buckle. Uh -huh, that's pretty fun. A normal holy symbol. Do we need a holy symbol for... No, we don't. Our uh, cleric comes complete with holy symbol. We can give them a holy symbol cape. And that way they don't need to use the amulet slot for a holy symbol. But, uh, you know, we don't really need to buy anything here. It's just a... It's a, it's a good kind of sign of things to come detect magic on all items carried by party members but does not reveal any items function okay that's kind of cool i like that um i won't say like a common thing that uh, it's it's again another weird D, &D ism is like you get gear and then you're meant to like try and figure out what it is and what it does and that's where like knowledge arcana comes in uh, into play and then you gotta like you know, buy, uh, find someone, pay someone to, um, to like appraise it and, and, you know, tell you how, how much it's worth and what it actually does. And then search their archives and like, Oh, again, I'm, I'm just having a look through these stores, see uh, what the game has to offer. Crafting manual, scroll of shield of faith. Crafting manual, scroll of jump. I'm not sure what that means. Does it mean it's a it's a crafting manual to make a scroll of jump, and then we have scroll of guiding bolt, scroll of inflict wounds, shield of faith, malediction. I mean, uh, scroll scroll of a guiding bolt might be helpful. How much money do we have? We do have some money. We could buy one of these. It might, be, uh, might come in handy, honestly. 
Uh, how much damage does it do? Cast a gold, a guiding bolt spell. Right. Um, could we get some like information on the guiding bolt spell? I'm pretty sure that's uh, a very good attack spell. Let's go ahead and buy this. We're going to give that to, uh, I don't want to do that. We're going to give that to anyone but the barbarian. Probably we'll give it to the cleric. All right, so she's got a guiding bolt spell. What is this? Crafting manual of cure, cure wounds. Read that. To craft the scroll of cure wounds you require, blood, daffodil, and magnesium. Okay, so we know how to craft that now. We do have some magnesium. Um, do we have any blood daffodil? Who could say? Who could say, honestly? I didn't realize there was, like, crafting in this game, actually. Um, okay, so not in inventory. We need a scroll kit. Okay, good to know. I'm, I'm learning some things. I haven't actually played too much of this game, you gotta realize. I've, I've played maybe, maybe the first combat or so. Let's go talk to Lord Karen. Um, we're too low for her. Ladylike power has nothing to do with destruction by us. You thought it would be the princess. She doesn't rule the council. No, in this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Karen. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen. What was that? Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hand. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. You do not get a choice on this one. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Frankly, the speech was pointless and politeless. The formality reflects the solemnity of your oath. But more would probably be inevitable. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henry. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. Did Henrik or anyone else still breathing bring him back? The council wants a first hand report. Okay. Well, let's get some uh, as much information as we can. Wait, these marches, they're not in the badlands, are they? Oh, no, not the, the badlands. Treasure, 
All right, let's do this. We get a little bit of reputation. Lots of uh, layering mechanics in this game. Five council factions have representatives in Care uh, Kiflin. Uh, they can sell you equipment, spells, and many other things. So the better your re relationship with the faction, the more they have to offer and the lower the prices. However, these factions are in competition with each other, which means you can't please them all. Various subquests will give you opportunities to improve your relationship. Well, as we all know, I'm very, very bad at doing faction maintenance, so we'll see how that goes. I might just pick the one that I'm, yeah, I tend to be gravitating towards. Click on the map icon to open the location map. Uh, when a waypoint has been found, you can use it to fast travel. You can fast travel to return to the Gravekeep's cask. Um, level up. You now have enough experience to level up, really? To do so, you must take a long rest. Head back to the Gravekeep's cast and speak to Karel, the owner. He will tell you how to get to a room while you're staying in town. Wow, we're already leveling up, huh? Okay, let's uh, head back. Really do appreciate this map. It's just so nice. Angry Bush. <laughs> Yo, let's check out the Angry Bush, though. <laughs> How can you not check out the angry bush? How, how does one check out the angry bush? Do I have to like pick someone to look at it? I'm not sure. I don't know if we can interact with the angry bush yet. Okay, uh, let's go back to Gravekeep's cask. There's a exclamation point in my way there. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Hope I have enough money to stay at the inn for a long rest. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer? Hello, adventurers. Your beard tastes bad. We need a room. Stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. The suite? Oh, it's more like a large bedroom. This is the capital city. Those expressions are pretty stiff. I gotta admit, but um, you know, it doesn't doesn't really bother me. All right, we got our barbarian. You gained eight hit points. You have gained one additional hit a hit die. Um, I believe the barbarian is a D twelve, so rolling eight D, uh, hit points is quite good, actually. I'm not sure if that's how we do th Yeah, we, we, we got a d12. So yeah, eight more hit points is really quite nice. Um, reckless attack. Before you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack re recklessly. Doing so gives you an advantage on melee. Weapon attack rolls using strength during as this turn, but attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Okay. Um, let's have a look at what else. Oh, that's that's all we get. Sometimes uh, a level up is more um, interesting than another one, you know? Reduce your enemy's attack and saving throws for a limited time. Detect magic is potentially useful. Um, we would have to take something off, so increase an ally's AC by two, which is quite nice. Protect versus good and evil. Interesting that it says good or evil. I, I didn't realize that um, you could pick. Uh, and I believe this is still true for clerics, but they get two spells that they can basically convert other spells into. Um, or uh, they might just be freebies, like you get one free spell of that. We've got tons of healing um, for the cleric, which is good. I think instead of inflict wounds, I wouldn't mind having, um, yeah, let's take Guiding Bolt instead. I wish I got, okay, so this is four, six damage. I'm not sure, the way it, uh, it, it explains damage is not very super clear to me. I'd rather just honestly have text like 4d6 or something like that. Um, I, like, I believe Inflicted Wounds is 3d10, which is better. 
but it, honestly 4d6 has a potential to be almost as good and it's a ranged spell so i'd rather have guiding bolt validate and then we're going to level up our cleric we might actually get some more spells you gained eight hit, hit points um she's actually a d8 hit point uh for for her hit points so that's like the best we could have done we did get an extra spell slot for first level so we might actually just throw back on um necrotic uh, the inflict wounds i guess it's, it's already done it for me then we have herc let's go ahead and level him up first second level you can choose a druid circle that further expresses your relationship to nature so we will be doing that you gained eight hit points we're getting very lucky with these hit points I'm pretty sure it does just roll them in the in this game. Class provides a specialization when really reaching a certain level in the form of class archetypes. Archetypes have different names depending on uh, their class. Arcane tradition for wizards, martial archetypes for fighters, clerics select their divine domain. And then uh, we get our druid circle. Uh, Druid is actually part of a DLC. I didn't really say that or make that clear. What do you mean one of my circles is part of a different DLC? I don't really like that. I think that that's kind of cheesy. Like, the fact that, you, like, I understand, um, you know, I understand the, the devs for Celeste are small, like, their budget is smaller and they're, they're trying to um, make this worth it, and I appreciate that, but... I think if you're gonna do the druid, you should just do the druid. I don't like the idea of like having to buy more DLC to open up other facets. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Circle of the land is made up of mystics and sages who safeguard the ancient knowledge of the old faith. As a member of this circle, your magic is influenced by the land where you were initiated. So if we click this, um, natural recovery once per day when you complete a short rescue. Rest, you can recover a number of expended spell slots. Bonus cantrip is, uh, you learn a druid cantrip of your choice. Are these different? Kindred spirit, we get to choose a spirit to bond to. It's like, there's, there's really kind of like nested archetypes, aren't there? You get to pick your druid circle. Now you get to pick your spirit animal. Uh, again, one of them, actually two of them are gated behind DLC. Uh, I do just like the bear. Um, and I'll, I've also really enjoyed in the past um, druids that are more inclined towards like um, weather effects. I think that they're some of my favorite. I know that druids like change shape and that's fun. Um, but I actually think I'd prefer to do like Circle of the Winds. One or higher makes you automatically take the disengage action for free and gain plus two movement action until the end of your turn. Um, this doesn't, uh, really seem to offer much. I have to assume it'll do more. Draw their strength from the winds as the cataclysm raged. The connection druids felt to nature frayed, but not so for the circle of the winds. They felt the mana currents carried by the winds. I wish it uh, gave me a better sense. Oh, uh, at higher levels, that's a button. I didn't realize that. Sheltering breeze, guiding winds unfettered this is not very compelling i have to say it's not gonna not as compelling as like choosing an animal and getting like i don't know if this lets us transform uh, or get our wild shape i think we get a wild shape anyway grants a bonus to the bonded druid druid bonus plus one hp per level move five claw attack we get claw attacks and bites and all kinds of interesting stuff. Use an action to call your kindred spirit to a spot. Oh, I see. This lets us call the bear, and then the bear has an extra attack. So it, let, it lets us summon. That's pretty cool. Um, what's uh, What does Circle of the Land give us? Grants a range of spells that are always treated as prepared. Landstride, Nature's Ward. Ugh. I'm just going to go for Circle of Winds, even if it doesn't super compel me. We get a bonus cantrip. Select new spells or cantrips to learn. Oh, I guess we only get the one cantrip. Um, I think I'm always going to pick 
produce flame although produce flame isn't actually oh i see we've already got venomous spikes so we get to pick a new cantrip um Shillelagh is kind of nice, but it's actually kind of worthless on this character because it means we get to use our spell damage over our strength, and our strength is just better. I actually think that uh, maybe Guidance would be good, if a little circumstantial. We'll have a quick look at their spells. I think that these are all good. Fairy Fire is quite nice. I like creature to give advantage to anyone attacking them. This the Fairy Fire is quite good. It could be as good as Entangle. Let's do Fairy Fire. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of Long Strider. I think it's okay. Uh, Detect Magic might be better. Thunderwave is also quite nice. Let's take, we'll take Detect Magic. You should take at least one utility spell. And then uh, finally, we level up our Ranger. We, again, we got the uh, eight hit points. I don't know if that's automatic. It seemed to be eight hit points every single time, despite the fact that everyone's got different, um, a different dice amount. Fighting style. Choose a fighting style as a specialty. Ranger spellcasting can cast spells from the ranger spell list. So, um, not quite all of our characters do cast spells. I do want to make uh, this ranger an archery based one. That's why I gave her that dex. And now she can also learn spells. An enemy gets additional damage from you and you can easily detect it for a limited time. Would be good, and I do think we'll take Cure Wounds. It's just good to, you know, get get them spells if possible. Uh, them healing spells. Okay. So everyone leveled up. Buy some food for the journey. Visit the local stores and make sure you've got everything you need. Take your time to opt optimize your equipment, but at least buy rations of food. You can buy some at Gorham's Emporium on Market Streets. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, this is like very much a, we're, we're um, this game's a bit more prepare heavy than a lot of other RPGs, I think. And Celeste, you can craft various items. To do so, you need the proper equipment, ingredients, skill, and time. For magical items, sometimes you need to know spells. Crafting is performed while traveling. Once your party has set up a camp, but is not yet sleeping. Devote some of their free time to working on their current crafting task. We should get a scroll making kit at some point, but I don't think I can afford it right now. Crafting requires ingredients. They can be found while adventuring and gathered from flowers, bushes, and rocks, and sometimes from dead creatures. You can also buy them from shops, unless they are very rare. Finally, to craft an item, you need to know which... Yeah, okay. Let's... Can... Yep. Yep. I appreciate... Uh, I appreciate the, th the thoroughness in which we are learning crafting. See, when I was asking what do you sell, I was actually open, like, hoping to look at your wares and not just, like... <laughs> okay. I, I selected poorly. So we've got magnesium. I do need, what was it called, a blood flower? This is a blood daffodil. But I don't think I have enough money. And in, in any case, I still need a scroll kit, I think. And I, I guess this game is going to maybe actually require us to have components. Which is a little spooky. I, um, I have, uh, maybe along with a lot of other people, have uh, very much taken for granted, um, you know, spell components. 
We're gonna we're gonna grab this basic poisoned arrow. I do plan on doing crafting. Scarn powder, blood, blood daffodil, galavan, amaranth, angry violet, and five arrows. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we actually have a blood daffodil. Quite nice. Buy some food for the journey. Where are we buying food from? Gorum iron soot, probably. Let's just look at the wares. I don't want to I don't want to chat Okay, so we do have some rations here. We'll buy some of those Probably we need I'd say like two per party member. So uh, eight It's uh, almost all of our money we'll by uh, actually I'm gonna do like one more just for safety We're not encumbered yet, so that's fine um, so what is our next task? We're good. So I'm pretty sure we can leave now. We have a bestiary. Ooh, goblins. I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown up, you know. Well, most of us are. Of course you are. Why did you look at the dwarf when you said that? That's that's not okay, dude. These scavengers. Fearless. So what do you think? We check out their headquarters? It's not far. I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. Honestly, I feel the same. Business to be done. We can't afford not to. I also don't have any money, so I'm not sure why we're checking out the services that I cannot afford right now. You'll find a quick shopping interaction. This bypasses the discussion to instantly open Yeah, thank you. That's actually great. I love that. How does one do it though? Oh, okay. You can just click on them. Okay. Um, where, what's her, what's her, what's her journal say? Visit the scavengers headquarters. Oh God. <laughs> Visit their headquarters in, beside the grave keeps cask. So I'm assuming like probably down that back street there Maybe Wait a minute. Oh here Um, I wish I had cardinal directions on this map But I guess it just puts you right where you were on the map so that's fine Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands. 
still a bunch of orcs. Well, it's still a bit green. So let's say goblins. Yeah. Ow. You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. Stop interrupting, it's rude. Mm. So let's say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thank you so much. So instead, the brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. So that sounds pretty good. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. <laughs> what a weird question. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care less. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands. Plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. It's actually a very good idea. The more we do for you. It's, uh, this is the kind of idea that would do well in almost any D&D &D campaign. Like, uh, it keeps, it would keep the players, like, from, you know, looting everybody. It's like, don't worry about it. Someone will come and pick that up, and then you get the stuff. Dragon's Den advertisement? Unfinished biography? What is this stuff? This chest is yours to use. No one can loot it. You can stash up to 50 items inside. Many advertisers use the scavenger service to store some of their stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, well, we don't need to touch this yet, so let's have a look at that advertisement. I'm just curious on what this is. Uh, grand opening, come on. Galavan's new tavern, eatery and bordello. Enjoy one of ten different ales or perhaps a vintage cask of wine. Um... Battle chess tournament tor uh, tarot reading. It, it really is just an advertisement. I wondered if this was maybe like a partial quest. So I, I'm good for this. I'll throw it in our chat. Uh, actually, I'll throw it on. Throw it on the ground. That's not my dad. That's an advertisement. Why are we stealing? Okay. Well, we don't want to do that. We would prefer not to. Um, anger our new friends so let's um reach the outposts in the marshes marches west of the principality's capital leave the town and use the travel map to reach care Lem. okay i'm assuming we're going this way so let's yeah that looks pretty definitively the uh the, the mark of uh leaving the town Proceed, yes, I shall proceed. Look at this world map. Use the arrow keys to explore the map, click on a destination to plan your travel. Your party will take some time to get there. While en route, adventurers can gather food by foraging or hunting. They can also find crafting ingredients and encounter travelers, remarkable locations, or even monsters. Slow pace lets you move cautiously, trying to remain hidden from monsters. A normal pace is faster but riskier. Fast pace is the quickest of all, but can be dangerous. Rangers will be very useful while in their preferred terrain. You will find more food and are less likely to be surprised by monsters. You can set up travel so you don't need to micromanage your party. Whenever someone can level up, a long rest can be started immediately without finishing the day's travel. When a crafting task is complete, you can set up a new one without losing time. You can 
open the pro post rest window after a long rest for instance to modify your prepared spells okay i'm not sure what our rangers preferred um terrain is so we'll just uh go in a straight line record rests two long rests not sure i think we have enough food travel settings interrupt when long rest has been completed interrupt when an item has been crafted cast a good berry spell when the long rest starts eating a berry restores one hit points and provides sustenance for a long rest um let's interrupt when a long rest has been completed just so that we can get someone to have good berries someone oh we killed a boar gained five food our no heroes normally plan their travel so that they are always fit and ready for anything this routine requires them to travel no more than eight hours a day and leaves enough time to eat and sleep and for other activities such as crafting talking playing games playing an instrument and play, uh, praying sometimes the normal routine will be interrupted and your heroes will need to travel while they should be resting this will add fatigue and may lead to exhaustion adventurers know how to punish themselves temporarily and then return to their normal routine limited limiting camping activities to get more rest so that fatigue is reduced manages to collect crafting ingredients blood daffodil performs mental exercises reads a chapter of their book oh we are fighting bandits we're all surprised that means they get a uh, free turn i believe they get to lead the combat which is a bummer I'll be uh, I'll be pretty liberal with my spells here since we have a couple of days before we get to the uh, actual like adventure site. So our barbarian rolled high, uh, which is good. You've been surprised while camping. You must fight off your attackers before you can leave. Having been surprised, you cannot take any action during the first turn of the battle. Don't hold back your spells and powers. You will finish your long rest after the battle. Yeah. This lets your character wait for a specific condition. Oh yeah, ready in action. You can ready in action in this game. That's kind of wild. You can ready an attack depending on your character and their equipment and abilities. You can move, use a bonus action, and still use ready in action. This automatically ends your turn. You can use shortcuts to switch your equipment. You can have three... Okay. You can change your shortcuts in your inventory. So the only one who's going to get to go... I guess we're all surprised, so we don't get to, to do anything right now. So where are they? Okay, they're making their way over here. Honestly, I'm totally fine with them spending their first turn making their way over here. So, uh, grants you advantage on strength checks and uh, saves and checks, a bonus to melee attacks, damage, and resistance to slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing damage for one minute. You gain these benefits only if you are not wearing heavy armor. This is a bonus action. I, um, I honestly think we could do some fun stuff, like we could rage and then reckless attack our first lad, this highwayman. Medium humanoid. We don't know their AC or anything like that. Yeah, let's fly into a rage and then uh, we'll do a reckless attack just to just to get our feet wet, you know, just to figure stuff out. And we're just going to do a big old attack. Yo. We shouldn't have to worry too much. Like, we've got plenty of healing spells. Um, this is once per day, right? Recharge short rest. Wow, it's it's once per short rest. Um, actually, we can use it twice. So, I don't think... Um, I don't... Oh, I see. We, we g gain access to different forms as we level up. 
So I don't know what we have access to right now. We're level two, so I guess we have wolf. Um, but honestly, let's we'll we'll, we'll reserve that for now, and we're just gonna do. Um, we could either do a cast spell, venomous spike, pierces and poisons its target. Let's do that. This guy right in front of us. Oh, it's a disadvantaged range attack with enemy nearby. So I don't think that that will actually be a good idea. I didn't realize it was a ranged attack. Let me just see that. Yeah, it is a ranged attack. What about poison spray? Um, I think poison spray is quite like low stakes damage, so we could just probably uh, kill them. They did succeed their con save, so I don't know if they, I don't think they got, took any damage there. Um, did someone take damage? Bronlar technically did, but only the one, so I don't think it's really worth casting a healing word for that. Our ranger might need to disengage. They do have something they can do, but I don't know. Might be worth just doing a, a basic attack. This is, uh, this is what we get for getting surprised is we don't have a chance to put people in their preferred location. But we did get lucky with a hit there. And our cleric. What can our cleric do? Healing. Shield of fate. No free hand to perform semantic spell components. So this is the semantic, I believe, means that we have to do hand gestures in order to do this. And right now we're holding a shield and a mace. So we're going to be pretty boring this combat and just do some basic attacks. We got a, almost a crit there, which was quite, quite nice. They missed. So we are um, still in our rage. We should be able to kill this guy here. We did. Oh, wow. We rolled up 15. Um, we resisted the damage We still resisted the damage, but that was quite a lot of damage there. So we might want to spend a bonus action to heal It's still Bronlar's turn somehow. Oh, no, sorry. This is Herc um, So let's use this is a I'm Trying to I'm trying to figure out things a little bit. Oh, that's a poison spray. We I'm wondering if we can uh, do I like a cure wounds? I don't know if that's a like an, an actual action duration instant casting time action. Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like double down and uh, try and kill someone. Nice, we succeeded. And then uh, this will help me because then I can figure out which of my spells are bonus. This is, yeah, bonus action. So we'll use this on Bronlar. <laughs> almost, almost evokes a uh, kind of a Nox. Oh, I don't know why I moved there. That was so stupid. Because we could have switched to our longbow and actually attack someone legit. It's fine. We, we still killed someone, so that's fine. Um, our cleric. I don't think that this game has um, flanking, because it's actually flanking, I, I learned recently, is not... Uh, not a 5th edition thing. So there's no flanking in D&D 5th edition. We rolled a natural 20. After your night attack, you can safely go back to sleep and complete your long rest. To do so, simply click the campfire. All of your characters will receive the benefits of the long rest as normal. A cleric of the Oblivion domain with peaceful rest will not be surprised in future. This time was for the purpose of explaining the rule. Um, well, let's just have a quick look at our goods here. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stuff. We don't need to take it. I believe we still get it. 
We could take like, um, you know, crafting components, for instance. Whatever we don't take will probably be sold. Um, I wish I could have open our inventory sheet just to get an idea of like, you know, um, comparing our, our various equipment here. We've got scimitars and like crossbow and stuff like this. We've got a great sword. I don't think anyone can use that. And, uh, you know, it's a martial proficiency thing. We're just going to go ahead and, and uh, long rest. We're good. Everyone will get their spells back. And we'll also heal up. The party starts to rest. Has finished the long rest and consumed four units of food. So I do. I did want to um, have access to this just so I can have a quick look at our spells. This is fine. I do. Oh, I wanted someone to have good berry. Who can have, I guess uh, only the druid can have good berry. That being said, I don't know if I necessarily want good berry. We've got healing word. Healing word is quite good. We might not need another cure wounds, so let's take good berry instead. Must wield or wear a spell focus or component pouch. I don't think that we do have that. We have small smith toolkit, small smith toolkit, herbalism kit. We don't have a spell component pouch. Hmm. Okay, well, then we can't really take that for now. So I'm good with what we've got. And also, we seem to be getting uh, rations at a pretty good rate, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Um resume you can always interrupt your travel manually by pressing the interrupt button then you can click on a character's portrait to open their inventory and possibly start a new crafting activity change equipment or click check anything you like i don't know what is it space is the interrupt button um what i wanted to do I'm struggling a little bit with the, the interface. Travel journal. Where is our tra travel options? That was a good um, menu that I, I opened up at one point. I don't know if we can uh, really set up any crafting right now. Apparently I can set up crafting some crossbow bolts. Let me just see. Our ranger is using what? A longbow so they will want to have um, ammo I think they already have ammo but it looks like they only have oh I see they've got 20 20 shots okay so um, maybe can we set up crafting poison arrows we don't have gallivan amaranth or scarn powder we also don't have a poisoner's kit, so we're going to need to get one of those. Um, okay, well, this is good to know. I don't think we can do any crafting right now. So we're resting right now. We're good here. I might only be able to... Um, like set up travel options once like when we're um between travels you know when we're at a at our out, outpost but maybe <laughs> i don't know uh, I, I tend to struggle with uis i don't know why so we're at our uh first zone i i really um this is you know not quite the extent to which i've played this game but i will say i have i really like this um beginning area it's it's really really interesting we're almost there it's just up the hill eyes up and hands on hilt people these are the marches okay 
No, wait, what? Wrong way. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> so first thing we got to do is move up there. Um, you might guess that this area looks a little bit ambushy. I mean, it's a it's a D and D adventure. Of course, it looks ambushy. You know, everything is kind of ambushy. Now, this would be mm, would have been a good time to do um, go into caution mode. I believe we just got surprised, so we're not going to be able to, to uh, get our starting turn. Half cover uh, gives players a negative two penalty to hit. This might be a good opportunity to do some ranged combat and whip some spells out. Switching weapons, you also have a utility slot that allows you to access and use an item without spending your inventory action. Change the difficulty settings. I think I'll be okay with the difficulty we've set up. So we've got goblins. We don't necessarily... Oh, we do see them. Okay. So let's uh, get up to some cover. This is Bronlar. He doesn't have any ranged options, so he's just going to kind of hunker down here with a dodge. We're not even going to uh, fly into a rage. Because we only... Now that we're at our, like, quest zone, uh, until we long rest, we're not going to be able to recover those as easily. Yo, this guy gets to attack? Oh, I see. It's a range attack. Wow, they rolled a natural 20, huh? This is our cleric, who just took a lot of damage. So, we'll move up. We have cover now. What kind of power do we have? Turn undead or preserve life. Restore hit points to one or more allies within six cells. One or more, huh? That's actually quite nice. Uh, we don't necessarily want to use that right away. No free hand to perform semantic spell components. We do have a crossbow. Um... What I'd like to do is switch to spellcasting mode. We still don't have it, huh? No free hand to perform semantic spell components. Okay, so I'm going to have to change this up later because apparently we don't have any configuration in which our cleric can cast spells. Why would they set us up with three defaults that none of which are, are very good or useful. I guess they're still holding their mace. Oh, I see. It, it did have a mace in their, their free hand there. Well, that's um, quite the bummer. Let's um, just go ahead and focus. Well, we can cast a bonus spell. We'll go ahead and do a healing word on ourselves. And then we'll focus on dodging right now end our turn it's gonna take me uh you know a little bit to get used to some of these uh some of these some of these like kind of menus and and uh, interface things um this is our druid druid should be able to do some pretty good stuff i worry about this goblin here um, what I'd like to do... Okay, we, we have range, uh, here. So what we want to do is cast some kind of spell. What's the range on this? Our range is... I don't think it's far enough. And this is... Oh, range 2 versus range 12. Can we see someone? We can't hit this guy. We can hit this guy. Can we? No, we can't hit that. All right, so let's try um, a venomous spike on this goblin here. Nice. That was a, I guess, a natural 20. Um, does Gertrude still need healing? Let's go ahead and heal her. I'm not going to take any chances. We've got tons of healing, so we should use it. 
Now, unfortunately, our ranger is not exactly in a good position. I think that these guys are both melee only. We can possibly assume that. So why don't we swap to our bow and try and kill this guy up here? Natural 20. Nice. Getting a lot of natural 20s. We'll end our turn. Oh, sorry about that. It got real loud because there was a garbage truck outside my window. Um, you didn't miss anything. Uh, I, I think a goblin moved forward. Yeah, that, that, that Callan, uh, Callan is fairly exposed right now, so um, she, she took an extra hit when one was not necessarily needed. Is there any way... Uh, we have, like, line of sight on this goblin, but we don't really have any way of um, doing something with that. I'm wondering um, if maybe we like moved here we could like ready an attack for when uh this this guy you know comes down how do we do that how does one ready an attack I, i'm not making that up right it was possible dash attack ready oh there it is the big old ready button. Ready a melee attack. Okay. Um, Gertrude, she's like fully healed now. Um, she's going to step forward. I'll let her be here so that um, it gives Kellen uh, some space to, to do, her, do her thing. Let's see, we still can't cast a spell. Can we um, check out her inventory right now and just like take... The slot is disabled. I would like to, I don't know, what, what are we supposed to do, how do, hmm. how does one do a semantic, one free inventory action per round, can we just take this candle off? And now can we perform some spells? Yes, there we go. So we have inflict wounds. That's um, that's at melee. Um, we could do guiding bolt. We don't have a lot of spells to cast, so I guess what I should do is just switch to our crossbow. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, let's just you know try and shoot something. We missed. Okay, that's a solid miss. Um, Herc here, can he do anything cool? Doesn't really seem like it. He can move forward. He can make. He can move forward and maybe do something cool. Why don't we have him wild shape? We'll see what that looks like. Maybe the wolf has some extra movement speed. It seems like it might. I don't know if he gets a uh, more... I guess we could have him do a dash. No, we can't have him do a dash. Nice. Okay, um, let's follow the plan and have her move here. Can she do? No, she can't do any healing. Wow, there's a lot of these goblins coming out of nowhere. Does he get to do a ready attack? Where's our ready to attack? We see a ready to attack on Bronlar. Where is our? Okay, there we go. Our ready to attack actually uh, triggers, and we killed. And I actually got an achievement for that. Wolf takes a hit. Dirk. All right. Um, now that there's things in range, uh, Bronlar can actually be useful. Well, I mean, he's already been useful. He already killed something. And we'll have him move up. He 
You're gonna have to excuse the noise in the background. I think it will end soon. Uh, that's a solid miss. You'll have to- Gertrude is not meant to be a very good ranged user. She's meant to cast spells, but she can't right now. I guess- I guess she could, technically. Um... We could heal Kallen. I think I'm just gonna hold off for now. Can we- yeah, we can move up and, and attack as a wolf. Cool, let's do that. Rawr! We missed. Yeah, I thought you could fight. What the heck? So I'm not sure for. Oh, we got a cool dynamic shot there. Amazing that they didn't die. Disengaging, huh? That makes sense. I actually kind of. Well, no, never mind. They're doubling down. I thought maybe they were going to disengage to flee. Um, we actually can't really do much as a uh, brawn law right now so we're just gonna go ahead and focus on dodging and we're not even gonna move not much point there's only the one goblin left um we will cast a spell gonna go ahead and uh we'll do like a cure wounds on gallon or callan sorry hey day hey to hey to buddy boy here you go Okay, can we get a kill as a wolf? That'd be fun. Yes! They got a strength save, but they still died. Your knowledge has increased. Of goblins! Taking a short rest. Are useful ways to recover while exploring a dungeon. You can do so whenever you are far enough away from all enemies. Though this may be impossible in a very hostile location. The party must all be together. Short rest is a period of downtime of one hour, in which characters do nothing more strenuous than eating, drinking, reading, and tending to wounds. After a short rest, characters can spend hit dice to recover hit points. Heroes have one hit die per level. Once they are spent, they need a long rest to get them back. You can spend all or part of your hit dice after a short rest. Uh, I don't believe we get to take our spells back. Revert shape. Um, come back here. We're gonna we're gonna do a short rest for sure. We'll have a quick look in this bag, but we don't want to do any more combat if we don't uh, have to. We have a short bow, we've got some money. We've got another scimitar. All right, let's do a short rest. Um, Brownlar can spend a hit die. You will recover these features. Wild shape, we'll get our wild shape back. When the rest is complete, spend hit dice to recover uh, Missing hit points. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Bra Herc will get some health back. Maybe Callan. I don't know. She's only missing one hit point. Bronlar can definitely get some health back. He's at full now. Herc, how are you doing? He's at full. I um, think we're good for the rest of this. So we don't get our spells back, but that's okay. We'll get those back later. Let me just double check that. Yeah, we're still missing two spell uh, level one spell slots. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you are enjoying this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And let me know in the comments if you, uh, you know, you've played some fifth edition, you'd like to see me uh, do some other stuff like this, or maybe just let me know your favorite kind of build for D&D &D and, uh, you know, some obvious stuff that I'm missing. I'll, uh, I'll loot, loot the bodies, see if there's anything else over uh, of interest here. Doesn't look like there is. And, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.